Our friends, welcome to another chapel. Are you guys ready? And when I say ready, for this first song, you're going to need to make sure you're not too close to anybody because you're going to be jumping up and down. Make sure that mom's expensive lamp that's on the stand next to you, you can't knock over or anything like that. Be careful of your little brothers or sisters. But we do want to have a lot of fun, so let's sing. Everybody do my name. said to me, Let us go to the house of the Lord. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Please join me in the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living in the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. All right, friends, you're going to sing, Oh, praise the name. I hope you caught your breath.
Good morning, Red Hill Lutheran School. Mrs. Walden and Mrs. Van Leer are here, and we are going to do chapel this morning and discuss our new Bible verse for the month of May, along with our Christian character quality. This month's Bible verse is, Our people must learn to devote themselves to doing what is good in order to provide for urgent needs and not live unproductive lives. Titus 3.14 the Christian character quality this month is devotion. Mrs. Van Leer, would you like to explain what devotion is? Absolutely. So devotion is showing enthusiasm or kindness towards other people. So we can show de devotion to God by spending time with him, learning about his word and following his directions. We can also show devotion to the people we care about by thinking of them before ourselves. So do our, does our mom and dad need help with chores around the house? Or do we have a friend that maybe needs to be prayed over? How can we show kindness uh, and respect toward them? So Mrs. Walden, I'm wondering if there is an area in your life that you show devotion to other people, or maybe you see devotion in your life. Well, first of all, thank you, Mrs. Van Leer, for that question. Devotion is a special time that I spend in the car oftentimes, or sometimes even in the shower, devoting, spending time with God alone. But also, I spend time devoting my life to my family. I give a lot of time and energy to my kids and my husband and my extended family, but also to my classroom, my kids, my students. I am devoted to my students as from today, but also in the past. Once a student of mine, always a student of mine. But I am devoted to their well-being, just like right now in our Zoom meetings. I am devoted to being their teach, teacher during this time of crisis. But we are devoted to one another. Mrs. Van Leer, how are you devoted in your life? You know, with this time that we're in right now, where we can't physically see our friends and family, I've been really thinking about how I can show devotion to them, and one of the ways I've been doing that is by calling them up, calling my friends and family up, asking how they're doing, and even just asking them, how can I be praying for you? Do you have any prayer requests or things that you want me to be talking to God about? And just showing people that I'm thinking about them and praying for them shows my devotion to them, that I'm thinking about them, and that I am lifting them up in prayer. Devotion is so important. You can do, devote time in your life by yourself and reading the Bible, praying to God and glorifying God, but you can also spend time devoting your life to others and helping others and showing kindness, like Mrs. Van Leer was saying. It's so important to do kind acts for others. And during this time, as Mrs. Van Leer will share with us, we are seeing a lot of people devoting themselves to others. That's right. And one of the ways that I'm seeing devotion really shown throughout the world is through our essential workers, through the nurses and doctors and firefighters and the politicians and political leaders who are working really hard to keep our community safe and to also keep our community running, even people like the workers at the grocery store and the delivery men and women who are putting themselves on the line to keep our community running and um, they're really showing devotion by putting other people before themselves. And I think devotion here at Red Hill Lutheran School, our principal comes to work every day to make sure that our school is running. Our teachers are devoted to keeping you educated. Our office staff is working daily, keeping the school afloat. So we are devoted at Red Hill Lutheran School to spending time with you via Zoom, making sure things are properly um, done so that you guys feel like you're informed and devoted to your teachers as well. So what we decided to do in second grade is to say thank you to all those essential workers out there. And we've decided in our Zoom class that we would make posters to say thank you for de being devoted to helping others. Because remember, as Christians and disciples of Christ, it is so important to spread the love of God through your daily activities and actions. So we hope you enjoy our second graders as we did in our Zoom class to say thank you to all the essential workers.
All right, so we want to thank all of the essential workers who are working so hard to keep our community safe and running. And we just want to say you guys are the true VIPs. So thank you to all of our nurses and doctors and um, essential workers. And we love you all and we're so thankful for you. Thank you all wave. You. There you go. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good morning, boys and girls. Thank you for making these wonderful signs for our frontline workers and essential workers. Now, frontline workers are nurses and doctors, firemen and policemen, but they're also people at stores like Target, the grocery store, people that have to go to work that are dedicating their life to help others, even during this pandemic. We are so thankful. Mrs. Walden's class is so thankful and wanted to say thank you. Boys and girls, can you all show us our your different thank you cards? All right. No, uh, Nicholas, who did you say thank you to? The first responders. Excellent. Austin B, who did you say thank you to? Police. Police. Philip, who did you say thank you to? Who did you say thank you to? Rebecca, how about you? Who did you say thank you to? Austin Lee? I said thank you to the doctors and nurses. Awesome. And Harper, what about you? Firemen. Firemen. And Luke, who did you say thank you to? Police officers, teachers, doctors, uh, PAs, and firefighters and nurses. Awesome, let's see your card. Henry, who did you say thank you to? Take your mute off, buddy. I said thank I said thank you to the firemen. Awesome. Nolan, what about you, bud? Thank you to my brother Jackie. Awesome. Uh Grace, who did you say thank you to? A policeman and fireman. Awesome. Olivia? Doctors and nurses. Great job. Michael, who did you say thank you to? The first responders. The first responders. Sophia. I said thank you to all of the first responders. So great. And Patrick, what about you, buddy? Firefighters. Firefighters, let's see your card. Thank you, friends, for making these cards for the first responders. They are dedicated to helping others. These are disciples of Christ going out and doing good things for others and helping others. Not just saying it, but doing it. They are dedicated to helping others. Thank you, friends, for saying thank you. Thank you to all the frontline workers and essential workers. We are so honored and thankful. Thank you so much. Please join me in saying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. All right, friends, let's sing together the lettuce.
We can show devotion to our family by helping our parents clean around the house and clean up after dinner, or even help cook dinner if you're old enough. We can help take care of our younger siblings because we want to make this the easiest transition for our parents because they're the ones that provide for our family. We want to show love and support to everyone around and enthusiasm to brighten up everyone's day. Hi. So there are many ways you can show devotion to God, um, and here are some examples. So first, you could read the Bible, and I to start off, you could read like a passage every day and talk about it or think about it throughout your day. And another thing is doing a devotional book, which I love because it's really cool, and it's like an easier way to relate to the Bible and God's Word because sometimes the Bible is a little confusing. And then lastly, praying is a huge part of showing devotion to God. Just talking to Him is just a great way to show devotion and just like feel his presence with you. I can show devotion by being at home, by helping my family with chores. By doing that, I have a servant's heart and ultimately God wants us to be helpful to others. One simple way to show devotion to God is to read his word, the Bible, and carry out what it says to do, like don't lie and love each other. Hey Red Hill, this month's Christian character quality is devotion. You can be devoted to your Bible, like reading your Bible, school, homework, and so many more things, so many more things. And just remember to stay safe and God's got us in his hands. Bye Red Hill! One way I show devotion is before school every morning, I get together with my family and we go over certain Bible verses and we reflect on what those mean to us and keep those in mind throughout the day. And it can really help change your day from a horrible day to a good day when you just remember those verses and it helps me get through it better with uh, coronavirus going around. So that's one way you can show devotion. Hey Red Hill, while we're stuck here at home, it's very important to stay devoted, especially to God. I do this by reading my Bible as often as possible. I found a nice cozy spot in my backyard with a hammock and a beautiful background. I love to read my Bible and take notes. I hope you can do the same. Stay safe! Do you need some life? Yes, please. Oh, ow, ow. Oh, my toe. Gotta get her some ice. Ouch. Uh -huh. Mom, oh, put your foot on this. Oh, thanks, buddy. Oh, oh, thank you. Is that you. better? Oh, thank you, Maddox. It's so much better. I'm glad you could help, Mom. Ah, ah, okay. You can show devotion at home by spending time with your family. You can do this by playing games, watching movies, or playing outside. You can also spend time with your family members that do not live with you by calling, texting, or video chatting them. This month's Christian character quality is devotion. You can show devotion in so many things such as school. You can show devotion to school by still being committed and still working on everything as you would if you were in class. Instead of only writing a little bit on your paper because it's online school, you can fill out your whole paper like you normally would in class. Another way you can show devotion is to God by praying every day. You may be used to praying in church or at school, but since we can't go to that stuff anymore, we can show devotion by still doing it at home, and it, it's not even that hard to do. It's just something you can do every day to show devotion to God. There are so many more ways to show devotion, so I hope that you show them at home. Thanks for watching. One way to be devotional to your family is by spending time together and watching movies. We have been watching so many great movies right now. I saw Miss Congeniality 1 and 2 for the first times, and we have been watching so many great Pixar and Disney movies on Disney Plus right now. And it is also important to keep in touch with our loved ones right now by using safe technologies like phone calls, video calls, and social media. It is important to remember that we will go back to school and we will gather at churches and go outside in public again. While many of us are apart during this, we are all in this together.
Thank you.